welcome back. We have another Get Good at Business highlight. And today I'm joined by the incredible Lori Brinkerhoff. Lori, thank you for joining me today. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Awesome. So for those of you watching and listening, thank you for joining us. I am your host, Taylor Proctor, your business coach here to help you get good at business so you can get back into the heart of why you got into business in the first place. And the way that we do that is through the I move method, which stands for intuition, marketing, operations, velocity, and execution. So I'm so excited today because Lori is going to be sharing with some of uh, her behind the scenes, if you will, with us in the areas of the I move method. But before we get to her specific interview, I've got to dive into who she is. So after surviving sexual assault and domestic violence, Lori has become a fierce advocate against sexual violence or against sexual violence and for women's rights. She juggles the roles of single mother, employee, college student, and of course, business owner. Lori started her business while living in Safe Harbor Shelter and is passionate about using the lessons life has thrown at her to support and uplift other women. Her journey of healing has taught her the virtues of being authentic, fabulous, and flawed. Her clothing line reminds women that, to, that just like looking in the mirror, sometimes all we need is a new perspective. So Lori, thank you so much for joining us again today. I'm really excited to dive in and learn more about you, your business, and your story. Great. I'm excited to share with you. <laughs> So let's dive into it. What inspires you to start your company, Graphic Expressions Apparel, especially after overcoming such a significant challenge in your personal life? Yeah, so um, some people grow up in families that are very business oriented and always want to, um, have always thought about being a business owner and being their own boss. And that was never my case. Um, I've never had any business experience. And so the jump from, um, no business experience to starting a business has been quite a journey for me. Yeah. So I was living at, at the time I was living at safe Harbor. I was a graphic designer and I was doing small custom jobs for customers, um, creating custom t-shirts for them, typically for like Cub Scout groups or family reunions. Um, if somebody just wanted one or two, I could easily produce those. Um, and so I had the skill to design and create t-shirts already um, I was living in this little bitty apartment in the shelter and I had about a four by eight foot hallway that I set up my computer and some equipment and created my little workspace there. So as a way to supplement my income, after I had left um, the domestic violence, I found myself as a single mom. I was the sole provider. Um, I was trying to juggle being safe, taking care of my kids, my mental health. Um, I continued to do graphic design and work that way. Um, but there was one day I heard the lyrics to a song that really influenced me and gave me this idea. Um, and I won't use the lyrics to the song because I know there's copyright um, issues, but it gave me this idea of creating a design that had uplifting words mm -hmm. and then also a second design that I could see when I looked in the mirror. And there were two phrases that I used consistently just to, you know, repeat them over and over in my mind, trying to get through the hard times. Um, and one was that I was stronger than I ever thought possible. We really don't know how strong we are or how we're going to handle situations until we're just thrown into it. So I just had to keep reminding me myself that I was stronger than I ever thought possible. And the second phrase and the one that I put in the mirror was never give up. Um, and that was really important to me because there were so many times that I just felt like there was no way to get through the hard things that I was dealing with. And so I created this design just for me. Uh, at that point, it was nothing more than just something to inspire myself and to help me get through the, the stuff that I was dealing with. Um, you know that when we put on t-shirts, typically we look at them and we pick them out and we put them on, but we really don't pay any attention to what's on our, our clothing, especially when there's words. Cause can't see them. yeah. But when you can so clearly see a message in the mirror, it's very unusual. And it really just stopped my, my negative thinking. It really just stopped it in its tracks, helps me refrain what I'm thinking, how I'm feeling and changes my outlook. And I knew that how, I knew that that was such a powerful experience for me 
And I knew that I was not the only one dealing with difficult things. My difficult things might be different than the difficult things that other women deal with, but we all deal with difficult things. And that change of mind is so necessary for our mental health and to help us keep going and to be the best versions of ourselves. So I, I decided I want everybody to do this and have this. And so that was the beginnings for me of becoming a business owner and a graphic designer for my own brand. Yeah, that is so inspiring and so amazing. And I love that. Like, I've never thought of before, like you put on a t-shirt and you can't read it because it's in the mirror and it's reversed, but to have a shirt that has a message for the outer world and a shirt that has a message for the inner world that you can see in the mirror is so powerful and so cool. Yeah, I, th I think so. <laughs> so let's get into the I move aspect of this. Uh, first for the I move is intuition. So how do you tap into your intuition to create the empowering and uplifting messages in your apparel line? So a couple of things. Um, first of all, the messages and the words that I use are specific from experiences in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so every design that I have at this point has a message and a lesson that come with it. Um, one of the unpopular ideas in business is that you should have the five-year plan, the 10-year plan, and you should have it all written out. And that's really difficult for me coming from the background that I, I have come from with domestic violence. Um, if you think about a 10-year plan, um, I've only been out of domestic violence nine years. And if I could just lay out all of the different things that have happened to my life in just the nine years, not, not a single one of those would have ever been on any vision board on my 10 year plan. You just can't plan out how things are going to go. So I, for me, the intuition part of it is really, um, connecting with myself, what messages I want to share, what, what's important for me to share from my history and the lessons that I've learned, um, and to really just be open to whatever opportunities flow to me. Um, I can't make a plan X years out. I know what I would like to do. I have goals. I know what I would like to happen, but I also feel like I have to be very open to the ebbs and flows of life and how things come to me and to be open to whatever and every opportunity that I'm presented. Yeah. That flexibility and allowing, I think that's so huge for a lot of entrepreneurs. It's go, 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 but allowing yourself and your business, the space for flexibility and for intuition to come in, I think is a huge, huge component to utilizing intuition to your highest advantage. So that's incredible. So let's move to the M, which is marketing. Uh, you have a very unique product. Uh, so how have you um, marketed your business, marketing your products in the most effective way to spread your message of empowerment and attract uh, customers? Yeah, so this is a really interesting component of my business because to anybody that just simply views the product, it looks like a regular ordinary t-shirt. There's really nothing special about it. And even if you look at it and see that there is a message and a mirror image message, it's an interesting and unique product. For me, the most important marketing tool is sharing the story, sharing what it's about, sharing what it came from and sharing myself with my audience. Um, because I, I like to say that my business is not so much about t-shirts and apparel. That's the product. Um, t-shirts and apparel are just the vehicle that I use to reach women, to um, help them love and um, heal from their own unique traumas. And Part of what I'm trying to do is create a, a supportive community of women. Um, we are so much stronger and healthier when we can come together and support each other. So right now, one of the, um, the biggest things that I'm doing for marketing is just trying to speak, get the story out there, explain what the product is, help women connect. And to um, I've been doing a lot of um, vendor shows where I'm able to meet my customers face-to-face -face. and there's such an incredible connection that I'm able to create when I'm able to speak to my customers face-to-face -face, um, and really listen to their stories, help them understand how important they are and to find the value 
in not only the clothing and the powerful words that they put on their body, but to find the power of who they are, despite that's where they are in their life. Yeah, that's so beautiful. And I think we always talk about, especially in the marketing world, like, oh, authentic connections. Like, how can you show up authentically? How can you connect with your audience? And it seems like you have found that in the in-person and in the vendor and speaking space to be able to be there authentically as yourself and to connect with your audience and hear their stories. I, I do my best. <laughs> I, I'm, in this ginormous world, it's really impossible to meet um, the max amount of people. So the next best option I think is social media. There's good and bad to that, you know, um, but we have this incredible tool at our hands where we can create social media spaces where we can also create connection. I've met some of the most incredible people online that I've never met before. So that is definitely a tool that I'm also trying to um, explore. Marketing is, um, especially as a, with an article in the apparel industry, um, it's tricky. So uh, I'm trying to do, again, this is kind of intuition-y. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying a lot of different things, some social media stuff, videos. Um, I'm actually um, working potentially with a really exciting influencer. Oh, nice. Um, but more to come on that, you know, if things work out, but trying to also use other people who have an influence mm -hmm. and a larger audience to get the message out to women. Bottom line is I just want women to be able to embrace and love who they are. Yeah. Beautiful. So let's move to the O, which is operations. Uh, can you share some insights into the operational aspects of running graphic expressions from sourcing materials to managing production and even fulfillment? Yeah. So for a long, long time, I just did it all. I figured um, it's a small thing. I can just do everything. And it gets really overwhelming and um, a lot of responsibility to do it myself. So I do have a couple of, um, I've, I do have somebody that helps me with some of the marketing, um, produces some of the videos and ads for me. Um, I've been doing t-shirts, producing t-shirts for a long time. So I've got some uh, uh, wholesale vendors that I work with. I create all of the designs myself. Um, the designs are all printed onto a direct to transfer uh, film that I just simply take and heat press. So um, it can take, it takes me 30 seconds to create the production. So right now, while I'm at the size that I'm at, I'm able to do the production and design myself. I would love to be able to scale out eventually to have all of that done in, um, uh, in in operation and offer other people jobs. But um, for the most part, I'm doing almost everything myself yeah. with the help of a small team. That's always so, I, I love that. I love that because I think when we start businesses, we hear, oh, we need to scale, we need to scale. But there's also this piece of like, you are touching every part of your business. So you are finding the most because your time is limited and you're one person right now, you're finding the most efficient and effective ways to be able to create this business in a way that makes sense. And that means that when you are ready to scale to those larger pieces, the operations are already in place in a way that is fast, effective, and high quality. So I think that's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. So let's move to the V, which is a velocity. Uh, obviously, apparel is a competitive market. You've mentioned that yourself already here today. Uh, what strategies have you implemented to maintain the momentum that you have and to keep your business going? Yeah, so that's a rough one because it is such a large um, industry. However, I have found that number one thing that keeps customers coming back is the personal connection. Um, that is so important and such a vital part of what I'm doing. Um, and when you find someone who loves a product, they are going to be telling their friends. And so I'm getting... I'm I, part of creating this space and this group and this community is creating loyal customers that not only talk about and love the products, but they're bringing people in as well. Um, and it's just a snowball. We might be a snowball that's just a little bitty right now, but it's just a matter of time before yeah. we become a giant rumble and 
um, just fill the entire space with love and positivity and powerful words and hope and joy for all women everywhere. Heck yes. Awesome. So let's move to the E, which is execution. What is the next next big step or project that you're focusing on to further expand uh, and the and build the reach and the impact of your business? Yeah, there's so much. What I've discovered with being a business owner is my ideas are like enormous and the amount of time and ability, you know, sometimes is little bitty. So I have great big plans of where I would love for this to go, but it's a slow process. Um, I'm working, like I said, I'm working on getting um, an influencer that I'm super excited about. Um, finding people outside of my little circle is so important to get the idea out to you know, a group of an audience that I would never have the ability to reach. So really looking for um, people who are willing to talk about it, help our name be known. Um, I am going to start um, the process to be on uh, Oprah's favorite things list. So that's coming up. Cool. Continue to um, develop and release new designs every couple of months so that we have fresh new ideas, new um, words and, and phrases. Um, and just looking to grow and expand the product line and the reach, the audience reach. Well, that's amazing. Well, of course, we're all behind you. Best of luck on getting on Oprah's favorite things. Hope the influencer thing works out as well. That's all super exciting. So where can our audience find out more, maybe look at purchasing your products, et cetera? How can they connect with you? Yeah, you can find me. Our website is www dot gx hyphen apparel.com we also have social media sites on facebook instagram and tiktok yes love it and you can click click that link in the description of this video as well um that is that that gx dash apparel.com um is in the link so you if you're watching you can click it straight from there as well uh so Lori, thank you so much for joining us today thank you for pulling back the curtain on your business and being so radically candid about how awesome your businesses and the things that you're doing specifically within the areas of iMove. And for those of you watching, stay tuned. We will have more Get Good at Business highlights coming at you in the next few days. Thanks.